morning, everybody. Happy November. Welcome to episode three of Vale on Hawaii's Art Talk. I have 15 paintings here that I can't wait to talk to you all about and describe and explain. Each one of these originals is available for purchase and they're all $50. Now you might be wondering, why are you dressed like this? Because I am going to the Renaissance Fair the very moment this is being this is done filming, so I figured I better get in costume here. Besides, it's just a few days after Halloween and I don't wanna give up my costumes just yet. Thank God for the Ren Fair. Okay, let's begin. This is Egyptian space. Now, as you're no doubt familiar from my previous videos, I love doing outer space themed art. And being that I'm a completely obsessed with all things ancient Egyptian, I decided to combine two of my loves into this painting. And anyone who knows about ancient Egypt knows that they were very into astronomy and the stars and the connections between the pyramids and the stars. So this is a really cool piece that shows a few of the chakras here that the Sphinx has. So all of these originals are $50 a piece. Contact me through the comments if you'd like to make a purchase. You've seen in some of my older videos, um, Alice in Wonderland themed art. Here's another. This is the Queen of Hearts. You'll notice she looks kind of nervous almost, and I based her expression off of Queen Elizabeth I because she was always so worried that her cousin Mary, Queen of Scots, was going to take over because she did technically have a stronger claim to the throne than Elizabeth did. So I wanted that sort of fear in her eyes because you never know, as a queen, when somebody might try to take over your kingdom. Although, this chick here, off with your heads. Nobody had a chance. So this is the Queen of Hearts. Over here, as I mentioned in the past, I've done some of the tree-themed paintings in different colors. This is Green Dream, and I think last time I did the yellow one. This one is green. Beautiful, beautiful blending in colors here. Several different shades of green. And right on the heels of this one, green's one of my two favorite colors. My other favorite color, purple for Purple Dream. Several different shades of purple. And in this one, I love the way this lighter violet color, this lilac color stands out against the darker shades. So this one is Purple Dream. The prior one was Green Dream. And while we're on a roll here, let's go to Orange Dream. Really striking piece. It's absolutely stunning. And that bronze metallic paint that I love so much is featured here in this particular tree. But this piece will grab your eye and not let go. Really, really love these dream series. Then, sticking with the metallics, I went a little crazy with the metallics this time. Every metallic paint I own is on this one. The black metallic, the bronze, the gold, the silver, all different kinds. It's just a cool, funky tiger or zebra striped piece. This one's not even on my website. This one is, this is the first time you're seeing this because this one's not on my website. So this is a special sneak peek of some of my very few pieces that have not made it to the website. And last video, I believe, I did um, Space Octopus. Well, here's an octopus in its natural habitat. This is Octopus Shadow. After doing the space one, I kind of became obsessed with painting octopi because they're such neat animals. They're so intelligent, and apparently they've got a sense of humor like you wouldn't believe. So this is Octopus Shadow. <clears throat> and since we're on the theme of the ocean, this is called Star Man Dancing with the Sea. It's a very romantic piece of two spirit lovers dancing on a beach, full moon, beautiful scene. So this one is Star Man Dancing with the Sea. Beautiful. I love the colors. It reminds me very much of Pensacola Beach and of other beaches at night in Florida where it's always absolutely stunning, especially on a full moon night. And the water really does glow like that on a full moon night. It's incredible. This is called Still They Dance. It's based very much on Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. Now at first glance, you'll see a church, you'll see, it's like, okay, but Behind the modern religions, the old ways are still very much alive. You'll notice in the shadows, there's some fairy creatures dancing. And over here, the circle of stones with the little fairy creatures still dancing around them. So no matter how modern this world gets, the old ways are still right there. 
You just need to know where to find them. Oh, look, another metallic tree piece. This one, again, all my metallics are in this one. Silver clouds, bronze, gold, black. I guess today is the day of the metallics. Metallic tree landscape. It's a neat one. Now we're gonna switch gears. This is called anatomical flower. At first glance, you're like, that looks kind of like a weird version of a female body, doesn't it? It also looks like a funky, cool looking flower. This is very much based on Georgia O'Keeffe's use of super close ups of flowers. I wanted to do something similar because she is in fact, one of my favorite artists of the modern-ish era. Loved Georgia O'Keeffe, especially when I went to New Mexico and went to the museum and just went completely crazy over her art. I love her. That's anatomical flower. This one was based on a dream. It's called Goddess and Snakes. I had a dream that there was a goddess in a cave and she was surrounded by snakes and she was the only source of light in this cave. So as soon as I woke up, I ran to my art table and I started painting before work and I finished it just moments before I ran out the door. But this is called Goddess and Snakes based on a dream, a very interesting dream that I had. Extremely symbolic, very spiritually relevant here. And there's some interesting little specks of light in the background that I added just for visual interest. But you'll notice there's a snake here, snake here, snake around her waist, snake around her arm. So that is Goddess and Snakes. This here is one of my favorite duality based pieces. This one is um, left brain, right brain, it's called. You'll notice if you know about psychology, the left brain is extremely analytical, mathematical, and fun fact, there's a number line for the eyebrow, very sharp delineated geometric shapes in the background here. This is absolute value of zero, because I'm a little math nerd, and there's some funky math equations on this side of her outfit. Now we transfer to the right side, right brain, very artistic, very free flowing. So I have spirals and funky, beautiful flowing colors and an outer space nebula going on in her outfit. This is one of my favorite paintings. I really, really love this one. Left brain, right brain. There's only two left, so bear with me. This one is called Goddess Replenishing the Earth. Very relevant today as the planet is in such dire need of replenishment all the pollution, all the degradation of this planet, you notice she looks exhausted. She looks tired. She looks sick because she is literally pouring all of her energy into saving the planet. That's why she looks kind of washed out and bags under her eyes and exhausted and not as exalted as she should be because her hands are in the water, her hands are on the earth, and she's pushing all of her energy, all of her magic, her power into giving the earth back some life at the expense of her own health. So this is Goddess Replenishing the Earth. Strong environmental message in this one. And last, but certainly not least, can't have Vali's art talk without a jellyfish. This one is called Ghost of the Sea. Again, I went through a total obsession with jellyfish painting phase a while back, and I just could not get enough of painting super cool jellyfish. The colors in this piece are ridiculous. I absolutely love the black, the dark blue, the indigo, the lighter blues, the light greens, and the shocking blinding white of this jellyfish that's glowing in the depths. I love, love the contrasting colors here. So this again is Ghost of the Sea. Thank you very much for joining me for episode three of Baleanawati's Art Talk. I will see you next week, but right now I have a Ren Fair to conquer. Happy week.